got the, the special guest Luca coming back. <laughs> God damn it, Tori. What? What did I do? What is happening? Uh. <clears throat> I just love the uh, the constant. Did you know it's September? Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> I was just sitting here. I didn't do anything. No, nah, you're good. I was mostly just giving you shit over that. Uh, obviously, we'll wait for Aaron to get back before we continue on. But how is everyone feeling so far? I know you all can see yes. it, but our chat, our, our chat can't, but there's a, just a Luca butt in the window right now. <clears throat> but it's still bright outside. Oh my god, that sun looks like it's... It's, it's very bright right now, and like, yeah. you just... Which is actually kind of nice, because yesterday it got, the smoke had actually gotten so bad that like, the sky was damn near red. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, this, this looks so bad. It, it's been right here the last <clears throat> few days. It's neat. Yeah. Uh, I actually sent, I ended up sending Spoopy out with my debit card and I was like, go get us some air purifiers. Like, we're not going to deal with COVID and all the smoke in this air right now. So <clears throat> it's definitely helped a little bit because like I woke up this morning, not like as bad, but it's like, holy shit. I feel bad for the people who are like much closer to the fires right now. <clears throat> All right. So let's get right back into it. As chill as this music is, I eventually need to actually like get us some music made for this. Just some like nice background shit. So we're not I got, sitting. Um, I got this, uh, Pack, or I'll have to look and see who makes it, but it's like essentially it's this uh, composer who does like strictly royalty free RPGs. That would actually be like fucking perfect if we could find like. Yeah, so I mean, I'll see if I can find you the link. If I can't, I'll just zip everything into a huge folder, but it's gonna be big, so. This is obviously more for the people at the table right now. We do actually have an email for the Patreon, TMO Creations. Um, so I can just give you that information and you can throw it up in that specific Google Drive. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Um, remind me after the stream and I'll give everyone the access to it. Because it also, it'll give you all access to logging into the Patreon. So if people want to make posts um, and everything, you can. Because um, I was going to eventually have it once we actually start getting Patreons and more support. Y'all can interact with the community there and in our Discord, which, by the way, for those of you who are watching, yes, I'm doing a shill halfway through the fucking episode. We have a Patreon that helps pay me and my lovely table here. Um, these four lovely ladies, uh, of course, get first priority over the pay. Um, but it also gives you access to the Discord, so you can talk to the players, you can ask questions and everything, you can get sneak, sneak peeks coming up, um, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff that I have in the pipe works for all of this, um, including you get to look at our cool uh, character art for everyone, which I think right now the only person I'm waiting on for character art is Ember. Everyone else has at least like their, their work in progress done. Um, yeah, so that's it. Chill over. Eventually I'll get better at that. But, so, we are back. Our four heroines here are well they just got done fighting a gorilla and you know what wouldn't wouldn't be a, a complete zoo without a bear so um the four of them here are fighting a very large and angry grizzly bear <clears throat> that has recently been spat out by a caco demon and so ember at the top of the turn it's yours you're also muted Oh. Great. Okay. <laughs> How many is it diagonal? Um, so, like diagonal is a one to one. <clears throat> oh, it's a one to one. Yeah. So that's within thirty. Yeah. So it should be like five, ten, fifteen. So it'll be like fifteen oh. feet to you. Oh, fifteen feet! <laughs> I've made a twenty foot jump before, <laughs> and that's gonna be an athletics. Yep. And uh, <laughs> give, me, yeah. give me an acrobatics for your landing. Yep. All right. 
Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh. We fucked around We're doing the first better. time. Now it's time to find out. Doing better. So, planting your foot on the railing, you just send yourself right on target. Go ahead and roll me an attack for your second action. Uh, damn and it. <laughs> Um, you know what? That's impressive enough. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you a plus five proficiency bonus. Um, and you have guidance on you, right? That's true. All right. So with your, your impressive roles of athletics and acrobatics and the guidance, you are just barely able to pierce the hide of the bear. Um, and so you strike true. Let me do some quick math. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So you, you know, you launch yourself, you fucking sail through the air, sword in hand, strike down, connect with the grizzly bear, and <clears throat> kind of like roll off the side of it. So you're going to find yourself right here, facing the, now, what was an angry grizzly bear is now a very angry gr grizzly bear, <laughs> and you have one attack to go. Or one action to go, I should say. An attack? I, I don't know why you said it. Yeah. <laughs> Your second one does not strike as true as the first could one. I, could I use a hero? Point? You can use your hero point if you want. God <laughs> damn it, yes! There you go. <laughs> so. Much better than mine, With, <laughs> with some weird precognition shenanigans, you're able to, like, adjust mid-swing, and your second one connects striking true. And the grizzly bear is very much paying 100% attention to you as well. Um, Ember just proceeding to whoop ass. Raga, it is now your turn, my dear. Looks like she's got this. <laughs> <You're> like, <"Yeah." laughs> Turns around uh, mid combat, like blood smeared through the hair, just like. <laughs> Just the thumbs up of, don't worry, guys, we got this. Beautiful. Uh, can I see where the cacto demon is? Uh, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Um, so you weren't able to see precisely where it was going. It kind of got lost in the tree line. But you did see that it was heading to um, your right, which would be west side of the park. <clears throat> so back the other direction yeah towards towards the savannah um envi savannah and wetlands environment okay so can i move 25 and then <clears throat> another percentage? yes this one will take an action sure uh not better just well not much better. Yeah. Um, you think you saw it go towards the, uh, wetlands area, um, but kind of in the direction that you last saw it, it could have been either the far west, um, portions of the wetland area or the, like, southwest portion of the savannah area. So, not quite sure, you just know that it's kind of in that area. <clears throat> right. Which means it's probably going to spit out another monster... Brandon has a plan for us to fight. <laughs> I don't know what I you're talking about. <laughs> I should just stay here and fight the bear is kind of what is being applied. Got the bear! <laughs> it's the implication. Um, so if I are, if I was to jump down into this, uh, how far down is it? Um, it's probably about a, like, 45 degree angle slope. Um, so... Gate past. Where you are currently, um, there's just some rock uh, to kind of like blend the tundra into that that man-made mountain. Um, so it would be counted as uh, difficult terrain, which is five feet is equivalent to ten feet. But nothing like if you were to jump, you'd have to make like an acrobatics check to make sure that you don't like land and take damage. You could just hop the railing uh, and probably like slide down through the netting. Might have to move some stuff, but you know what, man. Sure. 
Uh, this is such a waste of time. <laughs> but I just I feel like it's faster just to move back to where I was. But you know I what? Walk back, like, you know, we lost it. It's gone. <laughs> Slight reconnaissance, it's okay though. Um, Hana, that puts you at the top of the turn order currently. Okay, I'm gonna use um, two of my actions to dash. Remember, you're not you're not over encumbered anymore, so you can use just one. I know. Okay. No, but I want to go fifty feet. All right. Hey. Uh, hey, you hit me. Hey, hey. And I want to look for that shit so I can shoot it. <laughs> Alright, roll me a perception check then. <clears throat> uh, 15, 21. Um, so, let's see. Turn order in real time. You two would basically be passing each other. So, <clears throat> you definitely, uh, unfortunately, you didn't catch where it was going and it already kind of moved. Um, but you do feel like you kind of hear some sounds that weren't previously there in the wetland area to the south. Towards the bridge? No, 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 south. Like, so the, the, the bridged area is entirely... There's no compass on the map. You know, so north is <laughs> north is up, south is down, west, uh, east and west, of course, are left and right, respectively. So the bridge here uh, is actually going over the savanna area so that you can see from not only the outsides, but you can kind of walk through above the savanna area. <clears throat> okay. To the south, on the south side of this path here, that's the wetlands area. So it's like marshy, okay. um, <clears throat> but, you know, definitely built for, for a different style of wildlife. Um, and you do see that right here there is a uh, a plaque, um, and then right here there is a plaque as well. Okay, so the wetlands are down here. Yes, wetlands are okay. This big area right here. Well, some sort of gator. Um, was the perception check in action? I could make you fight an alligator, but I'm not that cruel. Uh, sorry, what was that? Was the was the perception check in action? No, or those your your first one. You okay. could use that as a free action. <clears throat> I'm gonna use my last action to keep moving towards. Alrighty. So one, two, three, four. Leave me. Okay. Valindra. And that's it. It is now your turn. Tori, that's you. Killed thing, man. Cut you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like how Ember is just getting these beast fucking rolls. And then yeah. everyone else just is like either just getting like these piddly little things. Team. Or you're just like, <laughs> you're like combat rolls, meh. But perception and- Every party <laughs> needs a carry. Yeah, you, you definitely, thankfully you didn't crit fail, but you definitely didn't hit. <clears throat> this time. I'm waiting for uh, an even lower roll. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, well, I'm going for a second one, so. Oh. Slightly, slightly lower. All right, slightly lower, great. yep, yep. Are you going to go for a third? Do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to. Yes! I. <laughs> It went perfectly from <laughs> 7 to 4 to negative 1. I love this. Uh, so your first two just wing and Y, left and right, missing. Your third one does plant solidly into something. The problem is, it's not the bear. It is your, your dear friend, Ember. Um, yeah. Ember, go ahead, oh and, go ahead and take free damage for me. That's fair. <clears throat> you and Rog are, are twinsies now. <laughs> So. For the record, Ember doesn't slow down a bit. She like, <laughs> takes, like, takes the shot in full and then just continues with what she's uh. doing. So, uh, let's see. It's going to swipe at you with its claws. 
That first one is does a does a nineteen actually break your AC? Yeah, a okay. nineteen does. Um, and then go ahead and roll me a strength check. Me a strength check? Yes. Oh. It's eighteen. Um. Okay. So it is able to overpower you. So, uh, let's do this damage first. So, it kind of rears up, bears down on you. Uh -huh. Hits you for seven damage uh, and grabs oh. you in its claws. And it is going to make a. Um, it's going to drag and rush towards the other one. So let's see, that's going to make a stride movement. Um, so it is going to move. What is your movement speed? 35 without. Encumbered is going to be half of that. So it's going to move 15. So boop. It is going to drag you. And I need to make two checks on this one. First one, okay. So it's going to drag you and kind of like throw you at your compatriots. Um, so it does make the clearing. So you're going to land up here towards Valindra. Uh, um, but you're able to kind of, not kind of, you're able to right yourself as you land. So you don't take any damage from the throw. Um, <clears throat> And with that, it's going to actually end right there in front of you. <coughs> Apologies for the coughing. And Ember, as you stand up, it is now back to your turn. The bear is rapidly approaching. Yeah, yeah, I know. So <laughs> this, <laughs> I just, I just want to make sure with what we're going here. The scene is. Arrow shot right into the back of Ember's shoulder. She, God, attacking the bear. Still, the bear <laughs> grabs her, drags her several feet, flings her up onto the upper landing of the enclosure. Yeah, back where the observation is. Yep, yep. And then she's gonna jump right back <laughs> down on the bear and attack the shit out of it. <laughs> she just lands on the landing and goes. Ah, ah! <laughs> You're like, fuck you. Oh my god, go ahead and make me, uh, we'll just do a normal athletics and then go ahead and make me an attack attached to it. We'll take, count that as two movements. Ooh. <laughs> so, it's running off of pure anger for just getting thrown around like a ragdoll, um, you, you kind of just get back up and you're like, mama didn't raise no bitch! And just immediately <laughs> jump right back into, go ahead and make me the attack roll. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And again, you just fucking strike true. Able to land right, you know, down beside it. Strike on its head. <coughs> this bear has seen better days. Unfortunately, you have as well. True. Like just that fucking, that scene from Rock. You just, I didn't hear no bear. <coughs> Go ahead and take your last action. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. And just Holy shit. again, you just you know power. How are you not a barbarian at this point? Is my question. No just idea. powering on through, even with your minus five from that, you actually just fucking strike true, slam into it, and the bear is done. <clears throat> As your sword hits the ground, what was once a bear standing in front of well, standing in front of you is now dissipated into mist. <coughs> Everyone go ahead and add 45 experience. Ember, for that one, add an extra 10 for you. Thank you. <laughs> like, this is working out. I'm getting a lot of experience for doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, <laughs> Luigi does, <laughs> Luigi does <laughs> nothing and wins. <laughs> <clears throat> I would like to skin the bear. I'm going to make something out of this bear. Is that possible? Like, <laughs> no, because... At... As you kill it, it dissipates oh, back it. into mist. The Emperor's just gonna say, "Ah, oh, damn it!" And just <laughs> kick dirt and then crawl back up the side that she jumped. Ah, uh, I love it. I love it. All right, so uh, <clears throat> two of your compatriots saw the Kaku demon head towards the west. Um, Hana. I don't know if you were going to relay the information or not, but you, of course, uh, are hearing some odd sounds to the... Uh... I would have called over my shoulder 
characters I was running like next week. So the it's three of you fun. hear Hana, of course, kind of like shout that, you know, she's chasing it and knows where it is or thinks she knows where it is. Um, so Ember, uh, Valindra, and Raga, what are you three going to do? <clears throat> Can we help Ember climb out? Yes, of course. <clears throat> Ember is able to cr climb out with ease. Um, and you all are, are, uh, standing up, um, uh, which one do I like the most? I like this one the most, okay. And, uh, as you round the corner, you kind of see Hana running this direction here, just ahead of you. <laughs> Can I perception check to see this thing? Uh, yeah, go ahead and, and uh, roll me one. It only one. Do I still have guidance? No. Sixteen. Um, while you don't see the Kako demon, um, you do see two very, very angry, um... God damn it. Yeah. I'm not gonna make this easy for you, Four. Like, why, would I, why the fuck would I do that? Um, you do see that... <coughs> Uh, this one, unlike the other ones, actually does have a, like, gate and path down for the keepers. <clears throat> That's kind of on this side here. Um, and Hana, as you kind of round the corner here, uh, you can see the path that's going in, for in front of you. <clears throat> At the end of it, there is no Kako Demon. There is instead a very large, very angry boar, and it is bearing down upon you. On the path? Oh, shit. On the path, running <clears throat> straight towards the four of you. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, there's no way I can just take a shot at it right now, is there? Because uh, it's running yeah. dead at me. No, like, it, it's running dead at you, but you could take a shot. So, um, <clears throat> what we will do then is Hana will end up going first, because she is starting this one. Uh, you three, please... Go ahead and roll me... Well, everyone roll initiative, of course, but um, Hana will end up taking the first turn. I got a 19 on initiative. Okay. Add turn. Add turn. Add turn. And then an 18 to hit. Uh, give me one second. <clears throat> Finally ran out on initiative. It's because you had all those fucking rolls on the last one. And then Raga is 18. <coughs> this one is... Doo -doo -doo. And this one is... Even better. Alright. <coughs> For now, he's going down here because no one knows where he is. You all do hear rustling, though. Okay, so, um, Deer, go ahead and take your turn. Or, go ahead and take your single shot, I should say. Yeah, it was a 19 to hit. Oh, 18 to hit, sorry. <clears throat> so 19 <clears throat> will hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. I corrected myself, it was an 18 to hit, sorry. Uh, 18 will still hit. Okay, perfect. <sighs> That's two damage. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your stun. Or what is the stun? I don't remember. Sorry, I have a stun. <clears throat> yeah, remember on, on hit for the gun? Your gun deals no damage because every time you hit something, <clears throat> it has this... It's, it's concussive. Yeah. It does get damage. It's piercing. Yes, and the concussive... Okay. On hit adds a chance to stun. I don't remember the dice check for it though. It should be in your book. Oh, I there was nothing on it about stunning. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> we'll figure that out later, <clears throat> then. Um, so, uh, Valindra and Raga, please roll me a perception check. <clears throat> Wait, so I'm assuming it's like right in front of me then. No, it's still a ways out. It's like... Oh, because my range is 40, so we... 
Yeah, it was just down me. I thought it was like in front of five, me. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, so no, it's it's it you it it's you're good. You're good. Um, that's not what I meant. What the fuck? Oh, I accidentally duh. I'm looking for the weapons table so I can actually. You're good. You're good. So let's try it. So, <coughs> unfortunately, neither of you are able to hear it. Um. Whoop. Or, there's nothing on here. Just confusing. as it happens, you kind of catch it. Um, <clears throat> let's see, two, one, two. Okay. Um, so, just charging straight out of the bush uh, to your south, this boar uh, slams straight into you, Raga, uh, and hits you for eight damage. Um. And neither Does of my you still count it as up. <clears throat> no, because <clears throat> that's an action every turn. Yeah, uh, you can ready that. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Yep. Okay. Um. So the way shields work, um, is you have the action, or one of the things that you can do with your actions is readying your shield, which then means that you add the shield's AC and any bonuses it might have. Like let's say it's an enchanted shield, you add that to all of your dice checks, uh, basically until the next time you take an action. <clears throat> so usually you want to like end your turn by raising your shield um because then that full round you have all those bonuses and then like if you were to take a swing you pull your shield back down gotcha so i'm coming from 5e so in 5e it's just you have a shield yeah yeah that that's definitely one of the big differences that they did with pathfinder is like shields are now like a strategic thing of like okay i want to raise my shield if it's, i think like tower shields for example actually not only give you the ac bonus but you also give cover um okay. which is kind of a pretty cool thing <clears throat> uh, uh, how much damage did you say that was uh eight okay i'm uh i'm almost dead <coughs> well <coughs> whoops okay um the next one is going to uh after getting shot did I take? Yeah, I did a bit damage. Next one here is going to kind of put its head down, stamp, and then charge straight at Hana. Uh, strides twice. Blah, blah, blah. Does seventeen hit? Yeah, right. yeah, it hits. <clears throat> All right. So it just puts its head down, kind of like stamps. Fuck. And just charges straight into you. Just like headbutt to the gut. Hits you for four damage. <clears throat> and is right in your face. So you're <clears throat> you're gonna actually be flat footed against it for its next attack. Uh Valindra, uh you're kind of able to like break yourself out of the like what just the fuck just happened moment, and now you're up. So it's your turn. So you've got one boar in front of you and one boar in front of Hana. Uh, because I have really cool stuff and things, I'm going to go stand over by my friend. <coughs> and I'm going to use battle medicine on them. All right. Go ahead and roll a medicine roll for me. Uh, uh, character scroll down. Medicine, 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 medicine. <coughs> All right, so you're able to just like, um, shove my entrails back in. Yeah, basically, you're like, these don't belong here. We're just gonna put them right back. <laughs> like, they, there we go. Um, go ahead and roll me a d six. <clears throat> uh, um, which if you just if you hit the dice on the left hand side, there should be that. Perfect. Um, so you're able to kind of just quick, like super quickly, uh, like. Basically, just run by, slap a big ass band aid on Raga, and then just kind of like get back into the mode of combat. Raga, go ahead and heal yourself for two. Tori, go ahead and give me your last action. <clears throat> I'm going to look at my stats real quick. <laughs> just pull out your ATSD. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot the boar that's right next to me. Okay, go ahead and make me an attack roll. Um, you will have flanking bonus on this. Ooh. So eight with the flanking bonus and guidance. Um, 
It's not gonna be enough, but you at least don't shoot Ember or Raga or Hana. Um, it just kind of like bounces off the <laughs> boar's hide. Doesn't really make any big impl er, impact. <clears throat> and with that, Hana, it is now going to be your turn. Do you also wish to put your entrails back in your body? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think they're out quite yet. Uh, <laughs> but I am going to point blank shoot this motherfucker. Alrighty. That's good. 13 hit? 13 won't hit. Um, even with your, uh, well, you don't have a flanking bonus. Never mind. <coughs> so 13's not gonna hit. Well, that doesn't hit. Um, seeing how that missed, I'm just gonna fox fire from right behind me and just whip some electricity right okay. in his face. Go ahead and do the, uh, unarmed attack for me. I remember the last time that this went. Hey, actually, last time it nine. went, it did. It did actually do damage because it, it hit the that failed because it was a nine. Well, well, the, yeah, this one does last, not hit. Last time. Oh, the last last time. Yeah, no, that that definitely failed. Mm -hmm. Um, so you've got one okay. move left. Do you want to reposition? Because remember, you can uh you can step, which means that you move one square, but you don't provoke any reactions. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just step back okay then because i don't want to get gutted <laughs> i'm, I'm a, a hurting all righty so with that raga it is now your turn <clears throat> need to keep softening these boars up so amber can just clean up <laughs> um so is a disengage like if i take like a five foot step back <clears throat> is, that, is that an action Yes, that'll be a step instead of a stride. So, steps are, you can, uh, I think in D&D &D it's called, like, sliding or disengaging. Um, yeah. Where you just, you move one square back, but you don't provoke any attacks opportunity That's or any reactionary. Yeah. Uh, in here, it's stride is your full move, and then step is your five, five, five foot step back that doesn't provoke any reactionaries. Gotcha. <clears throat> I can cast uh, <laughs> with multiple actions. Yes. Um, so some spells will have, uh, like, Magic Missile, for example. You can spend one action to shoot one dart, two actions to shoot two darts, or three actions to shoot three darts. Okay. <clears throat> so if this is a... So like if I want to cast Guidance, can I use just two separate actions in a row to give Guidance to two people? Yes. Okay. I knew outside of combat, but I think this is my first time doing it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, um, and because it is a cantrip, I believe that you can do it on a pseudo unlimited amount of times. I think, like, yeah. obviously, your action limits is what limits it. Uh, okay, so I will take a step just to get out from, like, right in front of it. And then uh, I will do guidance, uh, I guess, to my left and my right and get uh, Belindra and Ember. Okay. With some... Uh, so yeah, next, oh, uh... Ember, you're actually doing something, so if you could please hurry up and... <laughs> Just the thumbs up, like, I got you, buddy. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so, Valindra and Ember, on your next, uh, attack rolls, uh, you'll add the plus one bonus. Um, and speaking of Ember, it is your turn. <laughs> Just, here we go, all three. So, <laughs> your, your first and your third don't hit. <clears throat> Your second one, though, strikes damn true. I would like to say I do have exacting strike. Yes, so, so... your second one isn't going to suffer. So basically, your first one is a zero, or a, a minus zero. Your second one is a minus zero, and then your third one is the minus five. Got it. So yeah. thankfully, you don't crit fail on the third one, uh, but your first one misses. Your second one hits true, <clears throat> um, and this is the one that has been shot already, so it's 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 looking a little a little beat up for sure. Um, but just kind of like the, the girl and the bear, it's just like, it's, it's able to like dodge and weave past the first and the third hit. That second one though, just 
strikes right, right, right true. <clears throat> Does a good amount of damage to it, but it just gets back up and is uh, ready for round two. A classic kid story, the, the gorilla and the bear. Mm -hmm. Gorillas and bears and boars, oh my. I didn't think of a good alliteration for this one. I was just like, I'm just going to throw a zoo at them because it sounds fun. Um, so, <clears throat> for number one, I'm going to turn to Valindra. It's going to take a couple headbutt strikes at you. I don't think... Does 13 break your AC? Uh, uh, nope. Okay. Uh, 20 definitely does. Uh... Five, or uh, 10 does not if 13 does not so one of them does strike true uh, it's it's trying to uh, gore you with its tusks <clears throat> first kind of one or uh, yeah so sorry first attack misses the second attack hits third attack misses uh, second attack kind of gets you pretty well it's a solid strike so go ahead and take five damage for me <clears throat> Second one is going to turn towards Ember, since it just got bopped on the head with a bonk stick. It's going to try and do the same thing. Oh, that's not the right dice. Um, that one hits. That one does not hit. That one does not hit. <coughs> First strike connects true. So go ahead and take uh, six damage for me. Second and third one, you're able to kind of recover back into your sensors, dodge the second and third attack, no problem. Um, while that's happening, Valindra, you recover from your your uh, headbutt, and it is now your turn. And remember, you do have the one uh, bonus to your attack. If you were to also shift, oh, I don't know, say here or here, you will also have flanking bonus on the monster. That is, that is uh, what I was going to do, actually. Cool, cool. So... <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, joke's on you. Um, so, with your two bonuses, that actually is a crit. Um, so, crit damage. Let's see, 1d6 plus 2. So, you have a, what, ferocious weapon? So you rolled a three plus two. No, you rolled a one. Okay, that's what it was. It's one plus two times two. Wow. Okay. That crit damage. Ripper Rooney. But you do definitely hit. Uh, you've got one strike left to go. Uh, you'll only get the flanking bonus for this one. That one does definitely not hit. Um, thankfully it's not enough to crit fail though, <coughs> thanks to the bonus. Um, so first, first one arrow just straight into it. Uh, second one, the arrow bounces off. <coughs> Hana, it is now your turn. Okay, I'm going to take the last shot that I have in my gun right now at the one in front of me. Ooh, 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 that's a 24. That definitely hits. Um, <clears throat> what's the damage on that? It's not enough to crit, but it does hit. Uh, looking at five damage. Cool, cool. Solid five damage. And then I'm going to Foxfire the one behind me. All right. I've never heard this go wrong. Let's go. Thank you. That's a 21. That does hit. Go ahead and roll me damage on that. <coughs> And that is for electric. Okay. To the face. So yeah, your first shot rings true, and you're kind of just like trying to, you know, recreate Ember's badass hero shit. Um, first shot goes on the sec first one. Magazine empties. You throw back the fire, hit the second one. Both shots, or both attacks connect. And you're, uh, <clears throat> you're left with one action to go. Yeah, well, fuck, fire the one in front of me, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, it's an 11. That's nah, not gonna do anything. So, unfortunately, your yeah. third, your third Foxfire. 
<coughs> while not enough to crit fail, does not definitely or definitely does not hit, thankfully. Uh, Raga, that brings us around to you. Um, I will uh, just uh, tap Hana on the shoulder and uh, just throw up another guidance. Okay, so next attack's going to be a plus one. Uh, and then I will uh, try to smash an axe into the head of this one in front of me. Okay, so you're going to have flanking bonus because you have two... Uh, allies on either side of it. <clears throat> sure. So go ahead and does... it'll be one plus one to your attack roll. Plus one. Okay. Two. So twenty four is going to indeed strike. It's gonna hit. Uh, go ahead and roll me that damage. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't actually get to damage things very often, so this is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, three. Alright, so you're, uh, you know, light hammer bringing it down bonks the boar on the head <clears throat> definitely connects true you've got one more action to go uh, I'll just bring the shield up and just cower behind it <laughs> Alright, so you raise your shield um, so that's gonna give you uh, whatever your shield's AC is to your uh... Uh, yeah, so let's see so my AC is 18 <clears throat> Yes. Okay, good. Um, Ember, my dear, it is now your turn. <laughs> you know what? If it works the first time, it's going to work the second time. So your two 21s, your first and your third strike do hit. Your second one does not. I'm assuming it's all against the same boar. You're still muted. <laughs> all against the same boar. <laughs> all right. So let's see. That's nine. So that's 19 damage total. So just... Chopping away, <clears throat> you know, uh, you know, butcher Pete style. Mining you're able just, <laughs> you're able to just completely decimate the boar. Um, your last strike just cleaving it in two. As with all the other ones, your sword hits the ground; it dissipates in the mist. The foe is no longer, <clears throat> and you're able to uh, turn and see the last boar is still there. Um, it is going to take its turn. Whoop. That first one does not actually hit. That one does. That one doesn't either. <coughs> that one does. But my rolls are shit. Go ahead. So. Actually, I think you're back down to one hit point if I remember correctly. First and second attack it towards you. Just completely missed. But the third one, you're able to like with your shield kind of brunt most of the damage of it, it's going to only hit you for two. <clears throat> yes. <back to> one. <laughs> Which, Valundra, it's going to come back around to you. Uh, Should have got the tower shield. <laughs> <laughs> the shield that's legitimately as tall as your character. All right, Tori, you're up. There you go. All right. Cool. So with flanking bonus, uh, that's going to definitely hit. Uh, you're slowly turning this boar into a porcupine. Got two more shots to go. <clears throat> that one definitely does not. <laughs> that one, though, uh, with your flanking bonus, actually will hit. <clears throat> Let's see, that's going to do that, that amount of damage. So, just pumping this thing full of arrows as it's right in front of you. Um, your first and your third attack hits true. This boar has definitely seen better days. Uh, that's going to bring it back around to you, Hana. I'm going to turn around and fuck fire. <clears throat> Which is, uh, is 12. 12 is not going to do it. Or, sorry, 13. Guidance. Nope, it's gonna come up short. Try it again. And these don't have negatives because they're casting, correct? Uh, correct. Okay. Uh, seventeen. The seventeen start. will hit. <clears throat> okay. Uh, four damage of electric. 
four damage. All right. Not enough to bring it to its knees, but definitely enough to have it kind of seeing better days. And then one more. That is an 18, so that's a 22. <coughs> Dying off camera. Um, that's enough to hit. Go ahead and roll me damage. Three more electric. All right, that's enough. So <clears throat> kind of just showering it with sparks. Um, you're able to uh, do enough damage that the boar is actually slain. But the boar is actually slain. Come on, roll 20. You can do it. There we go. It's electric barbecue. Yeah. Um, <coughs> both the beasts are down after a hard fought battle. Um, go ahead and add 45 experience to everyone's character sheets. And then I'm assuming y'all want to probably heal just a little bit. Oh, why well, thank you. <clears throat> maybe. <So. laughs> just maybe. Just gonna, like, just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, I've seen better days. Lord, I would like to be able to kill more goblins in your name. Please provide me with your mystical healing powers. Exactly. See, you can't you can't let those goblin bastards outlive you. Uh, yeah, I think I'm not gonna have any choice but to use my uh, second heal to keep myself from dying. That's fair. That's fair. Isn't that the one that you can cast for two turns and it's an AOE, or is it the? Uh... Um, let me see here. <clears throat> Heightened plus one, the amount of healing damage. Yeah. So heightened is uh, you take it as a higher level spell slot. So like if it's a level one spell or a level zero spell. Uh, and, or sorry, if it's a level one spell, you use a level two slot for it, and then it's heightened that one level. Um, so that's what heightening spells is. Target all living un undead creatures in the burst. Oh. So if I use all three actions, I can do a 30-foot emanation. Okay, yep. So you'd be able to hit that everyone here. Everybody in the yep. area, if that's what that means. Okay. Then I suppose that's what I'll do. I'll say, all right, everybody, come here, group hug. <laughs> Perfect. I'll say, to kill goblins. And... <laughs> Just bathe them in your holy goblin hating light i'll take it i'll take it go ahead and roll heal for everyone oh that did not actually happen. okay <clears throat> um okay uh, so that's, we're oh whopping two for everyone selfish <laughs> <clears throat> i'm surprised Can i didn't... used my hero point to re-roll our healing if you want to go for it, yeah yeah, I think I do want to. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't be a one. <laughs> hey! Please. Everybody it's take three. Better. Get three hit points. <laughs> oh, I love it. Great. <clears throat> Can I roll a perception check while she's killing us? Yes, go for it. Uh, and then do remember if you have any leftover self, you can always heal yourself with that. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, for how much? Do we still have uh, guidance? Yeah, 1d4. And what was that, dear? Do we still have guidance? Uh, no. I can... Okay, 16. <coughs> with a 17. Um, 16. Oh, yeah, so with a 16. Uh, well, it wouldn't change much. Um, you see the Caco Demon. Uh, it's kind of just like flying in a circle, like just lazily up here in the savannah um and below it are two large cat Where? creatures right here sorry can you read yeah. so cacodemon is just kind of like floating here what? in a circle just like doing its thing under it are two large cat-like creatures hmm. both the cat-like creatures and the cacodemon have not noticed you though um I take like five seconds to reload. Yes, guys. <laughs> I was just thinking maybe I should sit this one. I. You know, I'm not 
Okay, that's what it was. Uh, cat girl is back. definitely not what I'm trying and... to look for. <laughs> I typed in cat and it was right. like, do you want a cat girl icon? We've got a cat girl icon for you. And I'm like, I'm good right now. Brandon, since I reloaded, do I need to take that penalty for dirty gun? Uh, or did we agree that it's top of the day as long as I clean it every day? It's top of the day, yeah. Okay. Even though Good to know. this looks really weird because I have to squish it. Um, oh, I did the wrong <laughs> one. Like, they're medium creatures. Like, they, I, I, I <laughs> legitimately can't have them be a uh, two by one. Okay. I like the idea that this uh, demon's repopulating the zoo, and then we're depopulating. <laughs> we can repopulate it. You're just like we can't have these unholy abomination animals here anymore. We gotta kill them again. There's a very specific thing I'm looking for. Uh, while I look for this, go ahead and let me know your guys' plan. Okay. We need to stop this thing from moving. I am so tired of this. So maybe if one person circles around to the left, and one person circles around to the right, and one person stands on the bridge, while the fourth person goes straight forth. And just... I can stay on the bridge and get it from a distance. I'm willing to go straight for it. <laughs> you might be. Ember is like, I know one thing and it's bonking. You know, we just try to block like all escape paths. I get, I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. There's like, know when I need to go. there's no good yep. <laughs> asset for this, and it kind of sucks. Yeah. You could just literally take, like, a, a part of a meatball. Have you tried going to the Ikea food court? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the closest thing I got. Boop. Yeah, no, yeah, that works. Wrong colors. Because <laughs> yeah. let me see, if I type in meatball, I don't think I actually get anything. No, okay, well, apparently there's a paid access or a paid asset that I can uh, just literally get a picture of a meatball. All right. <laughs> Belindra, what if you went to around to the bend since you have a better range than I do and I take the bridge? Uh, like the lower side or the upper side? The lower side because you have a better range. So if you can get around faster, then you still Ooh. have the ability to shoot it. Whereas the bridge is... Or Belindra could just hightail it straight across the bridge and cut off, like, cut out going around. And then you could stop on the bridge. Since we know it's up in the top part. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm just trying to see what would save movement. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm waiting for, uh... I'm, I'm just waiting for Ember to be like, is there a railing somewhere that I can like, <laughs> use as a good springboard? I'm just going to take off of the bridge then. <laughs> I think we're roughly trying to position ourselves like this. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so you two go ahead and stop. 20, Ember and Hana, 25. go ahead and position yourselves. <laughs> so give me one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one definitely. You know, roll. You know what, Ember? Roll me a stealth check. Yeah. <laughs> the clank, 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 clank. I wondered if I was just gonna get away with that. Damn it. Do, do, 
Wow, wow, that perception is actually really bad. You might get away with that one. You almost got away with that one. Um, so as you're as you're clanking around the bend here, um, <laughs> you get you know, you position. You're like trying to be real sneaky. Your armor is only jingling a little bit. You get to the northern portion of it, and all like as you climb over, you're like, all right, cool. Look over the railing, and all three are staring at you. <laughs> Just, I just shrug and jump. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not gonna spin that one. That's a little ridiculous. Um... <coughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Add turn. Let's see. Add turn. Add turn. Everyone, get ready to go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> Nine. Is it? Do I really have to continue? Oh my god. Remember, I'm moving you for one second. Yeah, that's fine. It's like, nope, you're too close to the to the top of the map. We can't, uh, can't just... Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm -hmm. Roll20 needs some better UI design. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like, how did I get a better initiative than you? <laughs> Alright, Ember's got 7, Raga's got 12, Valindra, my dear, you have 10. Hana, what did you get? 9. 9. Alright. Do you think, since I have all the page numbers written down, it'd be real easy for me? But that would require looking at them. Oop. Okay. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Saraga, so you're gonna go like that, like that. Oop. Nope, Valendra goes there. All right, so cat numero uno. Which one are you? Ah, this one. Uh, all eyes on. Uh, <laughs> all eyes on Ember here. Mm -hmm. um, is going to. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, well. That definitely is going to hit. So it's going to uh, pounce, land right here. It's going to make a strike. Uh, does a 22 hit on you, Ember? A 22? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's going to be four damage for you, and then it's going to make one more attack. Um, and that one's going to miss. So just the just the four damage. <clears throat> just, just four. Just um, four. need to know. That only puts me at three. <laughs> do, 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 do. It might be time to do some medicine healing after this. Uh, no. That, that seems unreasonable. Uh, let's see. What is... 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Bloop. Bloop. I'm just gonna... Oh, I... Kako Demon's just gonna fly away. So as it passes over the amphitheater, you kind of lose track of it. Um, and Raga, it is now your turn. 
Now it looks like I let it get away. <laughs> <laughs> it literally did just like sail over you. You're just like. <laughs> I'll, I always uh, knew I'll you were look, short. <laughs> I'll look over at uh, Amber Quick and go like, eh. like you got this? Probably. Um, I mean, she's kind of shaky, uh, bleeding out of every possible orifice. No, I'm giving thumbs up. I'm giving thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. I guess I'll use two actions to dash 50 feet and try to look for this thing. <laughs> You're just running in the opposite direction. I'm running after it. <laughs> um. So this the the way the amphitheater works is like it is a sheer drop down from where you are. Okay. Gotcha. So you would have to like jump down there, and it's enough of a distance that you probably would get hurt. Can I go around it? Um. So from top to bottom here, um, it's that sheer cliff down. To get to the oh. amphitheater safely, you have to go to the mm -hmm. stairs. So if you think about it, each stair is about three feet down. So it's, you know, three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, or twelve. Well, she can't 15, go 18. around it entirely. No, no, it, it it's it's carved down into the ground on all sides. <clears throat> well yeah, but there's like all that space back behind it. So I Yeah, no, that space different. down behind it, it what well, again, like the sides from both uh the the like Savannah and the other two environments on the other side. It's it's carved down like an actual amphitheater. It's just on these sides, it, it's much, much steeper than where the stairs are, where the stairs go down gradually by like three to five feet per square. Added. Yeah, so like, she could, Raga could jump down there, but odds are you're going to like break your ankles. Like it is, it is a pretty sheer drop. If I go across right here, can I do that? Like actually run into the amphitheater here? Yeah, but you'd have to run all the way down the path. So that's like oh, five, ten. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I actually can probably only make it like here. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> actually, you'd probably make it here if you're going fifty feet and dashing. Well, You'd be next I was talking about using all three of my actions. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Just to look. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, that's not gonna work. I just, you know, some some divine intervention. It might be good to help your your allies in this one. Everyone's running a little little low on on. Uh... Yeah, I'm out of healing. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, people can't count on that. I have one use of healing salve left. So I got four hit points for whoever needs it first. Thankfully, okay. you do have someone trained in medicine so she can at least, like, after combat, like, sit down and patch everyone up pretty well. <clears throat> Who's that? I don't know, Tori. Who is that? All right. Well, I'm still going to have to use two actions to get over here. Uh... And then I guess I'll make an attack. All right. So you do a flanking bonus. Go ahead and make that swing. That's not a centaur. Uh, that's 20. That definitely connects. <clears throat> uh, uh, you just... Six. Yep. Just walking right up behind the cat. You just fucking bonk it and you bonk it good. What a shrug. <laughs> <laughs> so this cat here... Uh, doot and doot. This cat here is going to go up towards Raga. Um, it's going to make the pounce. Pounce is not going to miss. Uh, so it, you see the other cat kind of like charge up, uh, towards the enclosure line, um, and jump up. And you're able to just immediately duck in time and it lands kind of behind you and is a little bit confused. Uh, that, like, it, wa it wasn't prepared to miss, and it missed bad. Um, so that's gonna be Valindra. That actually is going to lead towards you. Um, so even though you don't have the flanking bonus, that cat is flat-footed towards you. Uh, just to keep in mind for your next turn. Valindra, it's now up to you. Uh, the, the farther one is flat-footed? Flat-footed towards Raga, not you. <clears throat> Got it. 
So yeah, this one here, Braga has a one or a bonus uh, towards flat-footed. This one, uh, anyone who attacks it right now is going to have a flanking bonus on it because you have two allies on either side of it. Okay, I am within range of that one, so I will. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> exactly. I'll take. I'll Boy. take a shot to start. We're gonna have a TPK entirely due to Valindra. Yep. Hey. Nope. All right. So yep, that cat. Your first strike against it, uh, you're able to weave that in between your two allies and just hit it square in the side. Uh, okay. It it um it doesn't like stick in it, so like it just kind of like hits it and bounces off. Um, but it reacts to getting hit, so you know you at least got some damage. All right, I'm going to then use <laughs> my next two actions to move. So I, I get I get double my movement sides, right? Uh, if you dash, or no. what do you mean? Uh, uh, like the my movement, I get double the move size. Oh yeah, so yeah, if you if you spend okay. two to move, um, yeah. yeah. So you're you're just taking okay. two two strides instead of uh dashing because dashing you can do some things like if you have a bull rush feet you can bull rush off the dash blah 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 stuff like that um which i believe that actually brings us over to hana it is your turn okay i'm gonna look at these two because either way i'm far enough back that i can either move towards you guys and shoot at those or i can move to the side and try and shoot at the demon well you don't know where the demon is I know, but I can try it and, like, spot it since it flew away. Yeah, but you could also help your allies who are beat to shit. <laughs> I know. That's for rushing down. I think she should go for the demon. <laughs> yeah, Ember just calls back, go for the demon! Is that because you actually That's want her to, or asking. you don't want to get shot? <laughs> no, no, it's because I actually wanted to, yeah. <laughs> it's a 50-50, honestly. <laughs> Look, if we keep letting this thing get away, it's going to cough up the entire zoo, and we're going to be here for <laughs> Exactly. How dare, how dare no, you I like. That Ember cares that she gets hit by somebody else's arrows. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> You've already shrugged off a couple arrows. I shot you. Um, okay, yeah. then I am going right. to double my. <laughs> Just, uh, I'm going to double my movement, take two actions to 15. Here, perception check for that bitch. <gasps> oh, that's a 19. The 6 is a 25. You scan the horizon with your apparent new eagle eyes, and you <laughs> see nothing. That thing has disappeared. What? Um, <clears throat> but you do feel that there is a difference in the atmosphere from when you all entered to now. Like, while scanning the horizon, you can kind of hear, like, birds have come back. Like, smaller birds, not like the, the birds that would be part of here. So, like, something has changed as you've been fighting this presence and the, the, the things it's been coughing up. Wait, so, <clears throat> like, it's coughed up birds or it sounds like nature is coming Back. It sounds like nature is coming back. Like, whatever was scaring all of the, like, birds away um, doesn't have as much of a hold on the zoo anymore. So, like, around you, you can kind of hear, like, birds, you know, like, chirping or stuff like that. And you can, like, you know, like, at I said, where, like, even the wind itself kind of felt like it was gone, you do feel like a gentle breeze. So, like, something, the atmosphere has completely changed from when you entered to now. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm gonna backtrack 25 feet. Alrighty. Uh, and that's gonna bring Ember's turn to bear. What do you mean to the lion? Okay, which which strike goes where? 
It's all at the one closest to me until there's not one closest to me. <laughs> so your first two strikes miss, but your third one does actually crit, and you just obliterate that fucking thing. Like, your ember is done. She is beat up. She's bleeding. She's just like, this needs to fucking end now. And your third strike does just that. Like, craters into the ground. Um, so let me get, check which one that is, so I take it out of the proper turn order. So it's that one there, boop. Hey, that's the one I was hoping it would be. <laughs> <laughs> and so because of that, Raga, it is now, um, your turn. Uh, I guess I'm gonna take my hammer in both hands and just try to swing it and bash this, uh, cat as hard as I can. Go for it. Like, if I could take it up the ground and, or off the ground and send it into the pit, that's how, that's the type of storm I'm trying to do. You're just fucking swinging for the fences, two-hand baseball bat, go. Yeah, Babe Ruth, point out, <laughs> you know, the whole... I'm waiting for the, like, two. That's a five. <laughs> so thankfully, because of your, your flat-footed bonus, you didn't crit fail, but you just, you whiff. Alright, uh, second attack. I need a warm up. <laughs> Gotta stretch. Gotta stretch. Got stretch. Also a five. That one also just like. <laughs> Stretching! <laughs> hey, um. Okay, mm. third time's the chart. Oh. <laughs> I'm waiting for that like 15 Look, minus 10. Like, at the cat, like uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Like, you know, check into the wind direction, everything. Pinch of grass. Uh, right. <laughs> minus 10. <coughs> if you didn't have the minus 10, you would have hit. Oh, uh, that... Hold on. 18 plus 4 minus 10 is 12. Yep. And then, un unfortunately, even adding the flat-footed bonus, that's not going to be enough. So, thankfully, you didn't, you know, cold clock yourself, cold clock Ember. You just kind of made a... Hold on one second. Let me double check one of these feats here. Because <clears throat> I know my first strike is minus four instead of minus five. Mm -hmm. Is my, or my second strike, is my third strike minus eight instead of minus ten? Yes, if you're using know. a finesse weapon, it'll be minus eight. Okay, does that make sense? <clears throat> so that would be what, 14, 15? 14. And then plus the one for flat-footed, that would not make a difference. Okay. Worth a <laughs> shot. <laughs> yep. Alright, that's all I got. Um, okay. So we're gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna roll to make sure... Kinda, I'll just kinda look behind me, like, <clears throat> I'm gonna... So. Um... It does not break its days, so it's going to be heavily... Heavily... Okay, alright. Yep, all three attacks missed. So, <coughs> Leopard's still dazed, <clears throat> kind of like when it landed, it hit the ground instead of like you. Um, so it's a little bit dazed. You're able to track its movements well, and you're just able to like parry, dodge, and nothing strikes true. Uh, Valindra, it is now your turn. Excellent, excellent. I never have my sheet ready. <laughs> it's not like I have everything ordered for who goes next. Um, that hits, that strikes true. <clears throat> Arrow just straight into the haunch or side of this fucking cat. Uh, eight damage? Yeah, eight damage. All right, yeah, two, two actions left. <clears throat> that one with your bonus also hits. That's actually enough to kill it. So that cat goes down. Just like the other ones, as it dies, it just kind of dissipates into a weird mist. Um, and with that, um, now the three of you who are still around this cat kind of get the, the same feeling that Spoopy got earlier. You're like, the, the calm of, you know, the, the calm of after battle kind of like settles in. Um, you all kind of like hear like sounds that weren't there previously um there's you know like a light breeze on your skin everything is just like 
it, it no longer feels like a liminal space. You actually just now feel like, oh, we're in nature almost. <gasps> so. Does that mean she got it? Uh. I'm just gonna, like, book it back to them. Like, however <clears> long <throat> that'll take. Yeah. I mean, that'd, that'd be all three of your movement actions, so. You're able to, like, kind of run back. You see that your three compatriots are just kind of, like, recovering and sitting, st er, like, recovering after the battle, catching their breath. I couldn't find it, but I, I think it's gone? Like, gone, gone? I mean, that's good, right? Not necessarily. We yeah. didn't well, kill it, so kill where did it go? It. <laughs> My question is, where did it go? <clears throat> yeah, because the last place you all saw it was sailing over the amphitheater. And you kind of lost track of it after it cleared that building. It's not past the amphitheater, I checked. What about the employee quarters? Well, that's literally what he's gonna see hanging out <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, so we book it to that that building. Yep. So, go ahead and move if if that's what you want to do, and not have Tori try and heal anyone or use healing I was about to Say, shouldn't I like <laughs> put some duct tape on people first? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> just maybe, just, just like some like DM sprinkling help of maybe you all. I was just waiting yeah. for everyone to like finish their train of thoughts before I, you know, said anything. That's, that you didn't want to interrupt. That's fair. That's kind. Yeah. Uh, so do I just click the uh, the medicine thing again? Yeah, go ahead and do one roll for everyone. So four total. Okay. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Nope. Um, so I'll take the six. I'm probably the one who's <laughs> was, yeah, we'll... at least semi okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, we'll we'll start with Aaron and we'll go clockwise. So Aaron, go ahead and do a D4. Uh, Riley, go ahead and do me a two uh, D4. Um, very nice, Aaron. Spoopy, go ahead and do a D4. Um, and Valindra, uh, Tori, go ahead and do a D4 as well. <clears throat> Thirteen or three. So I'm not doing that. Okay. So Tor uh, Tor we'll do half rounded up because three divided by two isn't going to do anything. So Tori and uh, Supi, go ahead and heal two hit points. Riley, go ahead and heal your three. And then Aaron, go ahead and heal your four. So you're kind of able to, like, you know, using some herbs and some regents in your bag that you had, uh, patch everyone up a little bit. They're feeling a little bit better. Um,. And like, not much time. So every, everyone's doing a little bit better. Now, if you have any healing salve, of course you can use that and everything. The employee quarters. <clears throat> yep. Uh, what's everyone's uh, hit points at? No. <clears throat> I'm okay. <clears throat> I'm doing pretty good. Okay. So go ahead and move all of your characters right around here. If we are moving forward. Yeah, I do have that healing salve. Like I said, one use of that left. If anybody, that's it. I would say save it in case you get knocked down. Because somebody can hurt until you're like at that point. <clears throat> or somebody else is. All right. So as you're passing the amphitheater, um, everyone give me a perception roll real quick. I just closed that. Dang it. 18. Waiting for Tories. All right. So Valindra and Ember, you two are just walking by like nothing matters. Not, not, not a care in the world. Raga and Hana, though, you both immediately catch so that something is off. And you stop in your tracks and look towards the amphitheater. And at the bottom of the amphitheater, <clears throat> there is... 
Um, but that's treasure. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab for a Valindra, but like by color. <laughs> just like as you're walking, like no. Nope. Just say stop. Uh, I turn Valindra towards where I'm seeing to like get yeah, yeah. eyes on it. I'm trying to make sure that I have all the correct assets because some of these again are a little wonky doodle. Um, but down upon the amphitheater. So the amphitheater is it's a stage, and then and the 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 back. It'll be two squares, but the back, like, ten feet actually has a mm -hmm. canopy over it that's pretty far up. Okay. Um, so, like, for those of you who have been on stage, that's where, like, the lights and the curtains would actually be. And then uh, if they were putting on, like, a show or anything, the actors or the people talking about whatever animal they're showing off would be towards the stage front. Um, so the stage is one, two, three, four, five, six... Why is that off? That's supposed to line up with the grids. Either way, uh, it's about 30 feet wide and about 35, or sorry, 30 feet depth and then uh, 35 feet across. On center stage, uh, you see the Caco Demon that you all have been uh, chasing. Um, and again, I have to... Oh, that's not how you spell that. I don't know why I deleted the asset for it. I knew like it was going to be coming back. You didn't I didn't know that. What if we all rolled a one? Uh, yeah, true. We all just <laughs> walked right past it. <clears throat> yeah. So, on stage, you see that. Next to the Kaku Demon, you do see a hooded figure. Its back is p towards you, and it's walking through a portal. Um, <laughs> so, I... <clears throat> as the portal closes and the figure disappears, uh, the Kaku Demon is just kind of floating there. Um, There's no opportunity to, like, run forward, take a shot, or just spell. Go Magic ahead like and that. Uh, make me a stealth check. Twelve. Nope. It it notices you immediately. Um, everyone, go ahead and make me one more perception check. Now, I have, I have a question. Can I cast a feat, use my feet before my perception check, or no? No, because uh, the Caco Demon has noticed. Like, uh, uh, like as Hana was, like, kind of, like, shifting to, like, get ready and, like, grab her gun and move, um, that might have not been the noise, but something immediately caught it to attention. Uh, and its attitude has completely changed towards you all. It's no longer kind of just aloof and floating there. Um, it definitely has, like, you can sense the violence in it is now pointed towards the four of you. So, I went way past that, I think. So, a question on that. Yes. Um... Because I have Slinger's Reload, and because I was trying to, like, sneakily take a shot. Um, I can draw the enemy's attention away from my hands long enough to pull it in and reload it, and then attempt a deception, or create a diversion or an intimidation check to demoralize. Could I have, in that moment, attempted to, like, intimidation check to stop the person from going through the portal? No. Like, by the time that you realized what was happening and went to ready... Okay. It, the, like, when you first saw it, it was already walking through the portal. And it was just a, okay. uh, like, uh, so. <clears throat> like, last bit of that cloak going through the yeah. situation. Um, so. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Ember and Valindra, you notice this. Raga, you, you're kind of focused a little more on the Kaku Demon. Up on top of the band, and Spoopy, at, at the same time, you're focused on the Kaku Demon, so you don't really see what these two others see. Okay, so 17 doesn't... No. Um, okay. So, above the banner, or above on the top, uh, Valindra and Ember, um, you see almost gargoyle-like statues, um, but they are red and a little bit fleshy, if that makes sense. They're not, not quite stone. They're very small, they're very, very small. They're like three feet high. Um, but you do spot three of them up on the 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 
the roof of the back of the amphitheater. Okay. So, uh, real quick before we run in here, yes. uh, I'm just going to go guidance, guidance, guidance. Okay. Thank so you. All three of you have your, your first bonus guidance. Um, mm. <coughs> so, um, again, this is all downhill. So do you remember that? Um, and then from ground to top of stage, it is about three and a half, four feet. So, um, so Valindra and Ember, you see that everything is staring towards you and kind of readied. Raga and Hana, you only see the Kako demon, but you also still see that the Kako demon is like, it's ready for a fight. Is it initiative time? It is indeed initiative time. The 19 on that. Do, do, do. Gotta scroll all the way up to add this one's turn. Yes, I love how these ones look. Hi, my pretties. <laughs> Oop. Oh, no, definitely not 66. Oh my. God damn it, other Dom. Okay. <laughs> so that one's gonna go here, this one's gonna go here, and this one is gonna go here. So, top of the round, Hana, you are going first. Uh, okay. Um. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> what are you doing? <laughs> then we'll use my extra 10 because it's the top of the battle round to get here. Mm -hmm. that, uh, I said here! It's not putting me on the square. Uh, for some oh. reason, Hi. when I transferred it over, this was all uh, lined up okay. to a grid, and this one section is just a little off. It's kind of weird. I would say that's 40 from me. Uh, I that'll think that'll that's be a, good. A yeah. think okay. What actually uh, happened is. How the heck do you do that? Oh, there's so a. So I'm going to roll. Yeah. For, I'm going to take a mm, shot really right at weird. the caco. Okay. 16, <laughs> 7, 8, 8, 7 is 23 to hit. That definitely hits. That's not a crit, right? Uh, sorry, what was that? That's not a crit. Like, uh, I don't know what the new crit rules. Like, what's a crit for me? What was what you rolled? I rolled a 16 plus 7 is 23. That's not enough to crit. Definitely enough to hit. Okay. You... What is my crit level? With... 10 <laughs> above. <clears throat> so you just have to roll 10 above its AC, and then it crits. Uh, okay, or if you. it's like right. a reflex uh, roll, you have to roll 10 above its reflex, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it wasn't quite enough to crit, four. but you, you definitely hit that thing square. Like, it is a good, solid hit. That's four points of damage. Okay. So. And then um, <coughs> I'm going to try for another shot. Go for it. And it's minus five. Yes. Actually, I think you have... 
precision or finesse weapon? I can't remember. What does that mean? Uh, it would if if it's a precision or finesse weapon. I can't I can't remember which one it is. Uh, it's minus four for your first attack and then minus eight for your second instead. Okay, cool. Uh, so does that mean it's just minus four then? I think so. Yeah. Cool. Nineteen. That will be enough to hit. <clears throat> Looking at another four, and then we're gonna take one more shot. No, or no, not because I moved. There you <laughs> go. So yeah, you're you were able to kind of reposition. Uh, you know, run down two sets of the stairs, <clears throat> get close enough to the cacodemon, and you were just able to get two good square shots right on it. It's still floating. It's still doing good, but it is it it's it's taking some hits. Um, Raga, it is now your turn. <clears throat> None of this counts as so. Uh, the stairs don't count as uh, difficult terrain. If you try to run through the seating, that does count as difficult terrain. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, give me one sec, then. That would be twenty-five. Yeah, so like going right there would be twenty-five. And then it'd be, uh, uh, uh... That's okay. That still puts me in the range of. So, and... 25. And then 30 feet from here to there to throw a javelin. Yep. Okay. And that's not gonna hit. Only a 6. Nope. So you, you, you know, run forward, get into the pews, and you like, with your running throw, or with your, 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 yeah, doing a running throw, you throw the javelin, um, it just whiffs far, though. <clears throat> They're still new! <laughs> <laughs> so you got one action left. Uh, I will, um, mm -hmm. kind of drop my legs down between the pews and just hold my shield up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Brace yourself for combat. Ember, my dear, are you calculating how far you have to jump? Yeah, so gonna be a run to here, right? Yep. So it'll be five, ten. Take go. So thirty feet will get you right here because the the ten feet doing that. So yeah, you're gonna spend two actions to run and jump. Yeah, two actions to run and leap. <clears throat> Right and, there? Uh, yeah, and I am going to grapple the fucking cop. <laughs> roll me a strength roll, my my dear. I believe it is an athletics yep. that is opposed against the target's <laughs> fortitude DC. Correct. Um, so go ahead and roll me an athletics. Motherfucker. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't roll much better. So you just fucking run? Like, <laughs> so... This is the scene that everyone sees. You know, Valendra, like, you're at the top, and, like, you see Hana, like, you know, like, run to the side, take two shots. You see, like, Raga take a running jump and, like, throw the javelin and, like, you know, shield up, defend. And then you just see fucking Ember sprint through everything, jump up on stage, and just fucking, like, bear hug the meatball. Um, and she does. She just completely Beautiful. grapples it and is holding it still. Um, <coughs> it's speaking, an it's beautiful. Speaking of the meatball, um, go ahead and do. I'm not even gonna have you do a strength check. Never mind, because I'm pretty sure your modifiers are gonna beat that. So it is not able to break free. That is its first thing. It's gonna try and bite at you. The first one fails. Oh boy. And the second one does also fails as well. So it, it's trying to, like, you're you're holding on to it and everything. It's trying to snap at you um, like a cat. You're trying to feed medicine, and it just, it, it, it's not able to get anything in. Uh, so which one is it? This one. Okay. Do, do, do. So this one's going to fly down. Um... Try and attack and break free. It's going to miss. Boop. So with a screech, um, that actually crit fails. Jesus. All right. 
Oh, it doesn't do uh, any of the damage, though. So it's just that. So that's that. So... One of the uh, gargoyle statue things flies down, tries to, um, like, attack you, and you're able to, like, react and, like, shove the caco demon in front of it, and it kind of, like, you know, impacts with it. The second one... It's going to fly down... Actually, I need that. What is it? 30 feet. I have the right one. So it flies down. It is going to change shape. And then it is going to charge. And it's also going to miss. So, <laughs> Raga. Wait, should they change shape? <laughs> yes. So, uh, Raga. Uh, Hana and Valindra, you're able to see this. One of the statues on the, the right-hand side of the, the stage flies down into the pews. As it lands into the pews, a boar appears, um, and it rushes straight at Raga. Uh, the problem is that it apparently didn't understand that, like, it can't just push through the pews. Um, so it just completely crashes into the wall behind Raga. Um, and is, uh, it, it's seen better days, let's just say. It, it's, it, it hit the wall pretty hard. Um, third one. God damn it, these dice. There we go. Um, third one is going to kind of do a similar thing, only this one is actually going to hit. Um... So you now have two boars in front of you, Raga. Uh, the first one, you were able to just sidestep, no problem. Um, it was, you know, just a fucking... Uh, almost an embarrassment. Uh, the second one, though, you're able to, like, put your shield up in time to block most of the damage. So you only take two points. Um, but it does make a good, solid contact with you. Um, and that will put us... As I accidentally skipped Valindra's turn. Valindra, you get to go... <laughs> I was just in the role of things, and I was going. <clears throat> you were like, in the third one, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> nope, that is entirely my, 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 uh, fuck up. So, I'm going to use one action to cast gravity weapon On your weapon? Thing. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so then your first attack will have the times two damage. Yep. And I'm going to... So you have three targets. You have this one uh, here. You have this one here. Uh, this one you need to be careful with because it's currently in Ember's arms. Yeah, I know. That's. But see, I'm thinking here, like, maybe, though, if we cut the head off the snake, the other three go away. But do you honestly think that you can weave an arrow in between Ember's arms into the Kako Demon? You know, I'm... <laughs> Show I'm thinking it. maybe. <laughs> All right, Piccolo, go for it. I I didn't use my battle <laughs> medicine on them yet, so I can if I need to. We started with Angelina Jolie, and we've quickly oh, gone. God. We've quickly gone to Piccolo, like episode one. <laughs> All right, let's see your special beam cannon. <laughs> I, I I I miss. You definitely do. Thankfully, though, you don't hit yeah. Ember, uh, which is good. Uh, <laughs> I'll go ahead and uh, shoot the uh, close one, then. This one right here? in front of me? Yep. Yes. Uh, you will have advantage against that, so on your attack, it'll only be uh, minus four, effectively. Unfortunately, that oh, one... Oh. Yeah. Thankfully, though, again, doesn't doesn't crit, or doesn't crit miss. Um, but neither one of your strikes uh, hit true. Then that third imp does all that random shit that I said it happened, um, and then that that wraps right <laughs> back up into uh, Hana. It is now your turn. Um, so you have the two boars in front of you, one on either side yeah. of Raga. You have the imp statue gargoyle, whatever you want to call it. 
um, on top of stage, and then you have the Kako demon in Ember's arms as she is lovingly embracing it, and it's trying to struggle out of her like a dog that doesn't want to take its medicine. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shoot at the imp next to Ember. Okay. 21. 20. Or 20, sorry. 20 does hit. No, 21, because guidance. Yep, 21 hits. Winner. Uh, four damage. Okay. Uh, I need to make sure which and... one this is. Okay, so that's that one. And then I'm going to uh, take a second shot at oh. it. Go for it. Hey, shit, that's not going to do anything. Um, it's minus four. That's a 12. No. But thankfully you didn't crit, miss, and shoot our lovely nope. ember in the side of the head. Um, Raga. Nope, and that's it. Yep. It is your turn. Okay. So the one that hit the wall, you would say, is worse off than the other one? It's... Yeah, it's it's definitely worse off. All right, well, then I'll focus on that one. I'll keep my shield up against the one directly in front of me mm -hmm. and just swing my hammer down at the one next to me. So one action, keeping my shield up, I guess, for this round, and then... Yeah, so that the shield up would be the very last action of your of the round, and then, yeah. Just just so it's sad. <laughs> I get you, I get you. All right, uh, 17? Yep, that one connects, so... All right, six points of damage. So, that one is, uh, on its last legs. Alright, then I'll do it again. So, 20 minus 1 is 19? Nope. Uh, so your second strike, uh, hits true, and that one is dead. Oh, I'm sorry, that was not correct math. It was 20 minus 4, so 16. Does that still hit? Yeah, 16 plus your combat advantage towards it will hit. Okay, cool. Sweet! I finally what? killed something! <laughs> <laughs> you did it! Woo! <laughs> and then holding my shield up. Yep. Alright, so Ember, that is going to bring us to your turn. Which I you're think your, your first action should be unmuting your mic. So I have this thing grappled, right? Yes. <laughs> Is it flat-footed? To you, yes. Okay. Even though it's floating. But yes. Okay. But because it's flat-footed to me, and it's there, I've got it in my arm. Wait, I've got, I've got it right here. Just, yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you just start, like, stabbing randomly. Uh... <laughs> and you... you... You know what? Third try is apparently the charm. You're able to just connect with that one. Um, like, just stop squirming! The other two it doesn't, even yeah, with the negative two? No, even with the negative two, you're just okay, like... Okay. You're, you're. I don't know where they went. They didn't go into you, no, but they definitely squirming. didn't go into and the you. demon. But that third yeah. one, you finally are just like, you know... Yeah. This Kako demon has definitely had better days. <laughs> Speaking of, that brings us back to, um, uh, I'm, again, not even going to ask you to roll a strength check to make sure it continues to be grappled. Uh, so that first action is that, that misses, and that epic struggle of it trying to continuously bite you, uh, continues to fail. So, uh, this one is next. So, while you are holding on to its, um, uh -huh. dear compatriot. Mm -hmm. uh... <laughs> You're already just like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, it uh, is I know going what the to... next attack is going to be. That one is... No, that one's been shot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dominique shot that one. So, once per round, it's going to heal. <laughs> 
Oh, fuck. Not a whole lot, don't worry. <laughs> and then let's see, it's gonna try and once again sting. That's not gonna hit. What about this one? That one's not gonna hit either, so. I didn't do whole much. Uh, it takes a couple, uh, with its, its barbed tail, it tries to, like, actually hit Ember. Ember is able to just kind of, like, while struggling with the Kako Demon, kind of, like, back and, and dodge both of the strikes. Uh, Valindra, it is now your turn. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to uh, attempt to assist my friend on the stage and shoot the... Um... The little guy this time. Uh, this one right I'm here? Gonna... Yes. Okay. I'm going to do the uh, gravity weapon. Or oh, wait, is that still it, active? It's still active. It hasn't been 10 okay. turns yet. Excellent. I'm not going to do that. So that way I have three things. <laughs> okay. And... Uh... We'll go for a second one. Ooh. A second one strikes true. Excellent. Um, so I uh, real quick read to make sure gravity weapon is on your first attack and not your first successful attack for me. Uh let me click the little gear icon. Blah blah blah. You build up on your first weapon strike each round. You gain a status bonus to damage equal to twice the number. Okay, so yeah, your first weapon strike. The striking is what it's called. The attack. Yes. So your first one to, uh, that missed would be the one that has the gravity. Your second one that does hit doesn't have the gravity on it. But um, with it not really like paying attention to you and kind of focusing on Ember, you're able to get that second shot just straight into the into the imp. Um, and it's not doing too good. So you got one turn left, or uh, one action left, I should say. So you can uh, re-up Gravity yeah, Weapon two. if you want, so that you don't have to do it next turn. Go ahead <laughs> and move here. Uh, so remember, moving through the pews takes double the amount of move, because it's got unstable, it. or uh, okay. difficult terrain. Um, one, so you'd be two. able to move right here, is where you would end your move. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna go around the edge then instead. Okay. <sighs> Alright. So that's Melindra's turn. Um, this boar in front of you is gonna make a couple attacks. The first one connects, the second one does not, and the third one does not. Gotta read that. Oh, that's mine. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Um, so it's first two, or it's it's first one connects uh, with Uraga. The second two, you're able to kind of like push it away and dodge. Um, it's only gonna hit you though for three, just like a good thwack on your shin. Uh, and that's gonna bring us around back top to Hannah. It is your turn, my dear. Okay. Uh, we're gonna take a shot at the one. Going for Raga. Okay. Uh, which is a 16. Uh, 16 with uh, your flanking bonus is going to, or with your, your advantage on him is going to hit. So go ahead and roll me damage. Sweet. Uh, it's four damage from the shot. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we're going to fox fire on the same one. Like, okay. right after. 11. That's a 15? Uh, 15 will not. Four bonuses? Does it still have that, like, advantage on yeah, it? Yeah, but 16 won't, won't, won't be enough either. 15. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, then we'll try another shot. 13. 9. 16. Uh, 16 is not going to be enough, unfortunately. But, Damn. again, you're not okay. shooting your so allies, so there's that. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> that brings us up to Raga. It is now your turn. I 
think your mic is muted. You're right, it was. <laughs> uh, hammer at the one in front of me. Alrighty, hammer away. Uh, first one's gonna miss. Yep. Second one's gonna miss. And the third one is also gonna miss. But you know what? You didn't crit fail any of those, so there's that. Ember, my dear. Are you gonna stab away? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I am. Dagger, dagger, uh, dagger. Let's see. So, I think they all hit, too. Uh, your third one wouldn't hit because it would have the minus four on it. Yeah. Uh, but your first two do. So everyone on stage is just watching Ember, like, hold onto this thing and, like, repeatedly just stab at it. Uh, your first one connects. Uh, your, it's still squirming. And your second one connects. And it just, it's done. It is defeated deflated it is a <laughs> gibbering or <laughs> it, it's basically just a mound of flesh in your arms at this point you've turned it into a pin cushion Ew. Uh, got it <laughs> so kako <laughs> demon is destroyed uh hopefully i delete the correct one hey there we go um <laughs> And you're able to turn your attention towards uh, the last imp. The last imp, well, not last imp, the, the other imp on stage. Uh, it's going to take, uh, first, it's going to regenerate. So that is back up a bit. And then it's going to take two strikes. What the hell is with this d20? Both miss. Valindra, it is your turn. Uh, gravity weapon is currently not active for you, just so that you have that piece of information. Yep. We're going to go ahead and redo that one. Okay. So that's your first action. Yep. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a shot at the one that's on the stage. <clears throat> so let's see. That's going to hit uh, three times two. So... You, you, you know, cast gravity weapon, pull your bow back, and you fire. It slams straight into that imp and just brings it to the ground. It's still alive. Not, it, it has seen better days. Uh, it's definitely on its last legs. Um, so you have one action to go. So, well, you can see over the stage, do realize that, like, you're basically standing, like, right here. It's probably to your chest. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. I've walked in a theater before. I was really thinking about making this full of just, like, shitty theater puns, and I'm like, nah. Uh, that's going to miss. That's going to miss. Right? Yeah, it's going to miss. That's also going... Jesus Christ. All right. Hana, you're up again. I can't roll. Yay! I think I need to put this uh, D20 in timeout. Is that the new dice? Yeah, these are the new dice. I'm going to take a shot at Raga's new bestie. Uh, Aren't you glad she put a couple extra words on that sentence? Like 15? Uh, 15 is not going to hit. God damn it. Alright, second try. No! It's an eight. Uh, thankfully, that is not low enough to crit fail, but you definitely don't hit. <sighs> so they put them at the minus four, it was a one. <sighs> okay, uh, um, fucking fox fire this shit. Alrighty. And you know what? That's a 22. Hey, that one does. That one does connect. Um, go ahead and Just take two electricity to the face. Okay. <laughs> you singed its butt a little bit, but you know what? You didn't. You didn't bring down your friend Raga. Speaking of Raga, it is now your turn. Wasting bullets. I thought you'd be like, speaking of, you have a modifier and you're about to die. <laughs> oh, no. Um, you know, we're just gonna try it again. All right. 
Whack, whack, whack. Nope. Yo. Uh, that nice. one with its, uh... That one will connect, actually. Yeah, th that'd be a 17. Actually. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, for some reason, your damage didn't roll on that one. Hey, there you go, though. So, if second one hits, just kind of like the one on the stage. It's on its last legs. It's not, not holding up too well. All right. <clears throat> Try again. Yeah, nope. Nope. <laughs> so, your first one misses. Your second one, you just kind of like, on, the, on the, the turn back swing, you connect with it. Your third one, you go an overhead swing, and it dodges out of the way, and you just lodge it straight into one of the seating. So your axe is stuck. <laughs> Ember. Especially a hammer. But... Sorry, your your hammer is indented <laughs> into it. All right. <laughs> just, just, just the silent attack rolls of just... just <laughs> your, so, let's see. Your first two strikes would hit. Your second one wouldn't. Um, that will be enough. Uh, Ember just on stage crushes this thing into a pulp. And, uh, Valindra, because of that, is now your turn. <laughs> Woo! Okay, well, uh, There's really only, uh, one option right now, isn't there? Uh, murder? Yes. Yep. We got this! <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Flynn's just being waved at by, uh, by uh, just in a pile of viscera and blood. <laughs> just demon guts everywhere. <laughs> just, just, but being ever supportive, like, I believe in you, let's do it! Best yeah, cheerleader yeah. Um, ever. I know, exactly. right? Unfortunately, both of your shots miss. Um, right. Top of the round. Probably should grab a new d20, because this one... Uh, let's see. That one actually will hit. I, wait, does 17 break? Uh, currently, yes. Okay, so 17 is going to break. That one's not going to break. That one's not going to break. No, that's right. It's this one. Uh, go ahead and... So, uh, its first one connects with you pretty dang um, solidly. It's going to hit you for four damage. Uh, but the next two attacks just whiff wide. And with that, Hana, it is now your turn. I'm just about to take another time. Oh my god, finally, I switched up the dice. Uh, uh, that is 27, because that was a nat 20. 27 is going to actually crit. So and now, if I remember correctly, good, on that... your weapon, it goes up to a 1d8. It's a 2d... No, it's a 2d8. Yeah, yeah, it goes up to That's 1d8, one. and then it's 2d8. Uh, seven. Thirteen damage. Yep, you shoot Raga straight now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Yep, you just finally you line up that shot straight and true, and you just straight through the the imp's skull. It is dead. No more. But you Showers just Raga with a little bit of blood. Um, but oh, with uh, the last I... of them down. <clears throat> That is the end of combat. Everyone go ahead and add 45 experience to your experience pools. Um, and we will actually wrap this up next time because we are 45 minutes over our usual episode. I wanted to finish that combat, though. Um, so from all of us here, thank you uh, for stopping by and supporting and chatting and all that stuff. We will be back on the 25th, correct? Because we're doing the Sunday again for the next one, right? So, September 25th. Alright. So, same time, 10 a.m. PST on September 26th. Uh, I am the Mustache Owl. Of, of course, you can find me on Twitter and stuff um, at gaming underscore TMO. We have Spoopy, Tori, Riley, Aaron. If any of you three would like to plug yourself, please feel free to do right now. I know not all of us do social media bullcrap like that. I think I'm, like, one of the few ones that is, like, actively trying. All right, there we go. But you can also support uh, all these shops lovely... down for the moment. Nope. I already am. Uh, you all can support these lovely ladies at our Patreon um, or watching our episodes on YouTube. Patreon does go to pay my players 
um, and all that stuff. And you get a whole bunch of cool stuff. Like you can chat with the players. You can ask us stuff about the campaign. You can get episodes early, yada, yada, yada. Um, but I hope everyone out there has a fantastic day, a fantastic week, depending on when you watch this. And we will be back next time on September 25th, same time, same place. Anyone else have anything they want to say? Bye. 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 <laughs>